and welcome to Learn Redstone with me. I'm your host, Blinz. Let's get started. All right, today we're going to be talking about redstone clocks, and I've got five examples here. I'm going to real quickly show you how to do them. Okay, this first one is called the hopper clock, and then it only goes with one speed, which is right here. Okay, so in order to build this one, it's pretty simple. Let's just go through it real quick. First thing you're going to do is you're going to need to have two hoppers facing into each other. So you're going to put a hopper like there, and then shift click another hopper onto that one. So it goes into that one there. Go ahead and get rid of that hopper and put another one into that. Then inside here, you're just going to put one item. Only one item will work. Because if it's more than one item, then they're constantly going to have items in there. And then that's just it's going to break that thing. It needs to have a varied uh, 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 redstone signal coming out of it. Now, in order to turn that off, you need to power this hopper. So get a lever and put it right there. And that will make it so nothing will come out of there anymore. Then what you need to do is grab a redstone comparator and put it right here. And that's that's it. That's your entire thing. Now, if you turn that on, you're going to see that this clock is starting to work and it goes at that exact same speed that that hopper or that uh, dropper was spitting those blocks out. OK, this next one is the comparator clock. This one works really fast. It goes as fast as that dropper can work. So we'll show you how to build that real quick. OK, this one's pretty easy. You just take a block and then you put a lever on top of it and leave it off for now. You're going to put a comparator right here and then you're going to click that comparator. So that light turns on and that puts it in subtract mode. Then all you need to do is grab your redstone dust and put three like that and you are done. Just like that. Now, one trick is, see how this is one redstone dust away from that right there? If I were to put this just right next to it, it's not going to work. But let's just go ahead and demonstrate that over here with a comparator. So we're going to take, or not a comparator, a repeater. We're going to take a repeater and put it there. We're going to take another one and put it here. Now, if you turn that on, this one's just going to stay lit because it's too close to that. It needs to be at least three redstone dusts away from it. Okay, this next one is a repeater clock. Now, this one is variable. You can change it to different speeds, no matter, uh, depends on how many repeaters and what, what settings you put them on. So you can change these repeaters to have different, uh, different uh, delays and stuff. So let's go ahead and turn it on at the fastest speed. It's going to go just like that. And then you click it, and it's going to slow it down just a little bit. You keep clicking those, you can slow them down as much as you want. You can also put a bunch of repeaters in. You can have, you know, 100 repeaters if you really wanted to to make it really slow. Let's show you how to make it. This one's super easy. Okay, all I need to do with this one is you're going to put down your lever. You're going to leave it off for now. You're going to put your comparator down and put it in subtract mode and then grab your repeaters and put however, re however many repeaters you want. Let's just do three that way and then three the opposite direction right next to it. Then all you got to do is grab your redstone dust and put three around like that. And then you can just adjust the time. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. And we'll see that that one's going pretty fast. If I slow that one down, it's going to take it quite a bit longer to get there. You can slow them all down. You can make it however long you want it to be. It works really, really well that way. Now, this signal can come out not here because this lever will turn that one on, but it can go out here and it can go out on any of these sides here. Okay, this next one is called the Etho Hopper Clock because Etho is the one that designed this one. So to turn it on, you just hit that. And this one is also a variable speed one. It all depends on how many items you have in there when it actually switches and turns it on. And it's only going to put out one pulse every time that it turns on. So let's just go ahead and turn that off for now and I'll show you how to build it. Okay, this one's going to do the hopper trick again. So you're going to put two hoppers directly into each other just like this here, like we did on that very first one. And then you're going to take some uh, two comparators. You're going to put one on that side and one on this side. Then you're going to put a solid block there and there. And you're going to take some redstone dust and put it there and there. You're going to take a sticky piston and put it facing this way and another one facing this way. If I can get there, there we go. And then you're going to put a redstone block right here that's going to actually switch back and forth. And then you can have a on off mechanism. Just put one of those there and that's actually just going to turn it off. Then you're going to put however many you want to put in here. If you want it to be quick, you put two or one or two. If you want it to be longer, you can put you can put an entire thing full of them just like that if you really want it to be long. But then in order to have this one turned on, you just take redstone uh, redstone line and just put it out that way. And then when you turn it on, this one's going to take a while because I've got that many in there. So let's just go ahead and get rid of all those. And it's going to turn that one on. And then when it's done, it will turn it back off. Now, this last one is the observer clock. And this one is also really quick. And I'll show you real quick. We're just going to turn this on. And it's just going to pop them out as fast as that first one did. It's just the speed that that thing works. So go ahead and turn that off. And I'll show you how really easily to make this one. Okay, to build this one, you just put down your solid block there. You're going to go ahead and get your lever and put it on the back there. On the front of this, you're going to grab your sticky piston, put it in there. And then on this side over here, you're going to go behind it and put down an observer. So the arrow is facing into that one there. You're going to come over here. You're going to skip one block and put an observer there. So the arrow is facing back towards you. And then that is it. You turn this on. And whatever block is right here is going to get powered by that signal. 
All right, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. See you later.